Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to the podcast, the Evil Dungeon Master Universe podcast. I'm your host, Evil Dungeon Master Vince. And today, I want to say it's Wednesday and uh, middle of the week, hump day. Hopefully everybody is having a good week and looking forward to the weekend. And this weekend we do have WrestleMania coming up, but today's topic is not about that. But for those who watch wrestling, no, I watch those who know me. No, I watch wrestling, so I'm looking excited because wrestling, uh, WrestleMania is basically the Super Bowl for wrestling fans. Two nights of fun and entertainment. Yeah, I know it's scripted and everything, but it's still fun to watch. But uh, anyway, you can get in contact with me with Ask the DM at TheEvilDM.com or head to TheEvilDM.com and just click on email me there and or look at my other projects there as well. Uh, welcome to all the new listeners on Spotify as the numbers are going up. Uh, people are commenting on uh, YouTube. If you're listening on YouTube, don't forget to hit like and subscribe when you hear this video, or I should say this audio gram podcast, as they call them. These are, are a lot of fun to do. But today's episode is going to be talking to about Army of Darkness, the role playing game, or running an Army of Darkness role playing game, or running an Evil Dead role playing game. In 2005, Eden Studios came out with. Army of Darkness, the role-playing game, which was um, was licensed through the uh, Renaissance, I think it's Renaissance Studios, looking at the book here, uh, came out, yeah, 2005, and they had the rights to um, Army of Darkness, oh, through Columbia Pictures, got it. And they printed so many books of this, and they didn't actually do anything else other than this one book. And I've had this book. I have the first printing in this book. As you can see the picture here, it's not the best condition. As you see, the spine is cracking. But it is a wonderful, easy-to-play game. It's part of the cinematic universe, uh, cinematic unisystem universe of games, which I've talked about the unisystem games before. But this one encompasses Buffy and Angel and I think Witchcraft. I'm not positive about that. But you can combine all three of these games and easily use them together without a problem. Because the rules are exactly the same and a lot of all the other information is a lot of the same. But running a game of Army of Darkness, some people say that the reason why this game didn't go anywhere is because it's not that good with longevity it's a uh pretzel uh beer and pretzel type game or a one shot game it doesn't really have the ability to go long term which is not it really depends on who runs it and if you have a good gm that really respects the property loves evil dead like myself uh reads the various source materials, there's tons of comics on uh, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead 2, uh, even Evil Dead itself. There's not. There's a couple novels as well, or biographies and things like that, of Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, that you can read for source material. And there's a ton of stuff that you can do. It's just, it's you don't have to limit it to this Army of Darkness setting. It's a framework for you to use to run uh an episode of ash versus evil dead but you know you have your hero your champion your chosen one and your uh followers with him or normal people or screw heads as they call them in this game um not everyone has to be the chosen one they could be just regular heroes fighting along and they don't have to be in medieval time like ash was you can run it like ash versus evil dead and have an episode of in modern times of you know say the book was found again uh ash went missing and someone unleashed the uh the watcher of the woods as they call it in this book which is the kandarian demon later we know that it is that but back when this was written they just called it the watcher or the watcher of the woods uh, they also called it the Watcher in uh, some of the comics, and they also called it the Watcher in, I believe, the Evil Dead game. That was the multiplayer, uh, was it four versus four or whatever it was, multiplayer game. 
that is now dead because they abandoned it. But uh, they also refer to him as a Kandarian demon. And there's a wealth of information you can go on the web and go to Evil, da Evil Dead Fandom Wiki and just cruise through there and grab ideas for a game. It's so simple to play this game. And as a GM, you don't have to do a lot of rolling. A lot of the like deadites and smaller demons just have like muscle scores or whatever uh, combat scores, and you don't have to roll anything. You would roll for the big bad or the lieutenant or the semi boss, but then you could roll if you want to. It allows you to roll, but it also sets it up so that you could basically just have everything ready to go and. The players have to roll to see if they defend against whatever combat score you have of your deadites. And deadites are not very easy to defeat. They, I'm um, looking through the book here, they even have things for like tiny ashes from the Army of Darkness. They have a white. Um, they have the flying deadite. Uh, they even have Ash's evil hand. Regular deadites. It Regular Deadites versus a one-character show is probably going to be a tough battle. That's why you need at least two players in this game with that are heroes and have good combat or good ability to handle these things with, with their abilities. The one thing I notice it kind of lacks is a magic system, but... You can always borrow the magic system from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and use that. I've also seen homebrew of magic systems on the Eden Studios uh, discussion forums, which are very much dead. But if you go to EdenStudios.net and click on Community, it uh, will give you their community board, which is still active. I'm looking right now. Yeah. It's a Tappa Talk, which is I've never I haven't seen someone use Tappa Talk in a long time, and you can log in here and check out, and they have all their information and look through Buffy and Angel and grab the magic system, or or if you can figure out a way to get the book. Well, that's that's not it shouldn't be too hard to get the book because you can go to Drive Through RPG actually and still get Army of Darkness, Buffy, Angel, actually almost all of their products. Uh, whatever deal Eden Studios signed with with the licensing of these these products of Army of Darkness, Buffy, Angel, whatever, they somehow secured it so they can have the rights to sell PDFs indefinitely, I guess, because I've it's always been on Drive to RPG and they won't make more print copies because they're not allowed to per the owner when I contacted them a while back. But you can always get a PDF legally, and they're not that expensive. They're nine, ten bucks maybe. And generally, they go on sale for the, on the GM sales or whatever special day sale. And you can easily pick them up. Uh, and this is a book you definitely should pick up. I mean, I think Cinematic Unisystem is a really fun, fast play game. And if you really want to play an Evil Dead. Uh, campaign, and I think it'd be fun to play it solo too. Like I'm getting in, into a lot of solo RPGing or co-op RPGing, which I'm doing on my channel here uh, with uh, my basic Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, with Jeff, we're playing two characters, and we're also uh, another episode will be coming out later today uh, for Nightfall Bay, which is DC Heroes Third Edition. We're doing two superheroes, like semi street level. Uh, they have some minor powers, just uh, probably the equivalent of uh, Teen Titans. Around there, yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, that's coming out, and you should be able to listen to that as well. And it's a lot of fun, actually, playing without a GM and leaving everything just random to Mythic Game Master Emulator. And I've played it solo by myself. I just haven't done it on my channel because, I don't know, I just I want to show co-op. No one really shows co-op. There's a ton of, Google it, go on YouTube, solo RPGs, there's a ton of it out there. But there's no real co-op. So I wanted to you know, put co-op out there so people can get an idea of how working with another person and using a Game Master emulator would work. 
if you're getting into three or four people and are using a G, uh, Game Master emulator, at that point, just someone be the GM. Because then it's just, I don't know, you're just got a bunch of people arguing over everything. So someone just be a GM. Two people, that's fine. This, uh, this game does talk about, uh, back to Army of Darkness real quick. This game does talk about how you can make this into a multi- uh, campaign, a multi-session campaign, because it talks about uh, putting it in episodical formats. Like, and then Buffy goes into it a lot more, and Angel about how to run a season, as they call it, of a TV show with a pilot and episodes, and how to progress it forward with uh, plots and villains. And uh, I highly suggest you get all those books and do that because it's not, it's it's a fun time. And I've played Army of Darkness in a convention setting. It's a lot of fun. Angel and Buffy in the convention setting. I wish more people actually picked up these books and played them. Uh, I'm definitely looking for something for Foundry or Virtual Tabletop so I can play one of these games. All I have right now is All Flesh Must Be Eaten, and that's the classic unit system. I'm looking more for cinematic. I mean, I guess I could use it, the framework for it, but... Mm. All right. Well, tell me what you think about Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, Cinematic Unisystem, and all the fun that goes along with it, Buffy and Angel. And even talk about solo RPGs in the comments. I want to know. You can always head over to Spotify uh, or anchor.fm slash the DM. It'll bring you right to my page on Spotify. Gotta love that they kept those URLs there. And you can click on voicemail. If you have an account, you can leave a voicemail for me and I will respond to the voicemail. You can also head over to Apple Podcasts and leave me a review. A uh, five-star review. We read it on the air. Why not, right? So I'm going to head out for the day. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. Keep it original. Keep it old school. Good night, and God bless everybody.